Hello, Patrick here at JM Test Systems again. Today we'll be focusing on how to get your RKI Eagle 2 monitor up and running as efficiently as possible. First we will review how to simply turn the monitor on. Please remember when you turn the Eagle 2 on, it needs to be in a known fresh air environment. Powering on your unit. Connect the sample hose and probe to the Eagle 2's quick connect inlet fitting. Press and briefly hold the power enter reset button. Release the button once the monitor makes a beeping noise. The instrument will now go through its warm up sequence and begin to show you screens for battery voltage, active gases, lunch break if lunch break is turned on, low alarm, high alarm, STEL, TWA, calibration reminder if cal reminder is turned on, date and time, user ID, station ID, serial number, and sensor failures. After this warm up, it will go into measuring mode. But first, let's review the possible failed sensor. If the Eagle 2 experiences a sensor failure during startup, a screen indication of which sensor failed will appear, and the buzzer sounds a pulsating tone twice per second. The Eagle 2 can still be used for the remaining gases that have a good sensor. To continue, Press and release the power, enter, reset button to acknowledge the failure. The gas reading for that sensor will be replaced by three X's. It is a good idea to replace the failed sensor and have a calibration performed as soon as possible. The first step to a demand zero is to find a fresh air environment that is free of toxic or combustible gases and a normal amount of oxygen, which is 20.9% in ambient air. Press and hold the air yes button. The LCD will prompt you to keep the hold of the air yes button and the buzzer will pulse. Release the button when you are prompted to do so. The Eagle 2 will now display fresh air values. Performing a flow integrity test. First, verify that there are no leaks in the hose and probe assembly and that the pump is operating and the flow fault circuit is active. With the Eagle 2 in normal operation and with hose and probe attached, Place a finger over the end of the probe to block flow. The Eagle 2 should now indicate fail low flow level within a few seconds. Press power enter reset to restart the pump. If the Eagle 2 does not go into low flow alarm, inspect hose and probe for leaks. If the leakage cannot be resolved, have the Eagle 2 serviced. Performing a breath test. You can test the oxygen sensor, pump, and audible and visual alarms to ensure a proper operation. Please remember that this is not a substitute for a calibration or a bump test. To perform a demand zero, cup your hand over the end of the probe and slowly exhale into the probe. In a few seconds, the oxygen reading will drop below the alarm point of 19.5 and the alarms will activate. It is a good general rule to allow one second of time for each one foot of hose attached. If you have five feet of hose, you should allow five seconds to see this low oxygen alarm. Display mode. To access display mode while the Eagle 2 is in normal operation, just press and release the display adjust no button. Use display adjust no to scroll through the following screens. Peak reading, battery voltage, gas display, Methane elimination mode if your monitor is configured for this. STEL, TWA, view alarm settings, select user ID if turned on, select station ID if turned on, time and operation, date and time, data logging time remaining if turned on. Press and release the display adjust no button once more to get back to your normal operating screen. Switching from LEL to parts per million to percent volume. The catalytic combustion channel units can be changed from percent LEL to PPM to percent volume. While in normal operation, press and release the range shift button until the desired unit appears. Resetting and silencing alarms. 
If alarm silence is turned on, press and release power, enter, reset button to silence the alarm. The audible alarm will silence and the alarm LEDs will continue to pulse. If the Eagle 2 alarms are set to latching to reset the alarm, you will need to press the power, enter, reset button once the alarm condition has cleared. If the Eagle 2 alarms are set to self-resetting, the alarms will automatically reset once the alarm condition has cleared. Turning off the Eagle 2. Press and hold the power enter reset button. The buzzer will pulse for about five seconds. Release the power enter reset button when you see goodbye and the RKI logo. When these disappear, the Eagle 2 is off. Thank you for taking time to view our video and we hope that you found it helpful on getting your RKI Eagle 2 gas monitor up and running. If you would like to rent, purchase, or have your monitor service, please give us at JM Test Systems a call. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for future videos.